Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create a badge using Fusion 360 using your own logo. The things that I'll go through are very quickly the Fusion basics, just what looks on what's on the screen and how to save a document, um, how to insert a canvas, a JPEG image, how to sketch that image out from the, from the canvas, creating shapes, extruding shapes, text and filleting. Okay. So I start by going to Fusion 360. There's the, uh, the completed, the completed one that I've just finished doing. Um, for a start, I'm going to go to a new project. Okay. It's called Untitled, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Okay. Um, let me just cancel out of that. Before I save it, let me show you the data panel. The data panel here shows all the projects that you're on. Okay. Now I'm going to save my project in DT. I've got a new um, a new project that I've called DT. I've got a folder that I've created. Okay, and I'm going to save it here. I'm going to save it in here. Yeah. So if I hit save, you can see that it's there. Okay. And let me call this um, logo 03. Okay. Okay. So it's there. It's ready to save. Okay. I can X out of that. Get rid of the data panel. I probably talk about this, but please understand that this is really, really important. Yeah. So this is your um, this is your navigation box, your navigation cube, and this is your home icon. Down here is how you can navigate around. Yeah. So orbiting, panning, zooming in and out. Okay. And then the bottom part down here is your history toolbar. Okay. So those one, two, three things, sorry, are the most important aspects of this screen at the moment. Okay. Now I'm going to first of all show you how to insert a canvas. Yeah. So insert canvas. Yeah. In my computer, I saved a screenshot of a logo that I got from freelogodesign.com or something like that. Yeah. So I'm going to hit open. It's asking me which face do I want to put it on? This face, this face, or this face? I'm going to put it on this face here. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I can see it. I'm actually going to rotate it like that because I want to be able to see it. I can actually see it in there. 185, I'm going to make it 180 degrees. And I'm going to scale it up. I want to make it look larger. So I'm going to turn that 4x and 4 in the y because it's on the xy plane. Okay, I'm going to hit, actually, no, I want it, I want it like that. No, no, I'll leave it like that. I'm going to hit OK. I've now got a, um, a JPEG sitting on my um, XY plane. Okay, so now that I've done that, of course, the next thing I want to do is to sketch the image out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create a sketch on which plane? On this plane, on the same, the XY plane. And it's going to come in here like this. I can zoom in. If I use a mouse, of course, I can zoom in and out. If I use a mouse with a scroll, um, scroll wheel, if I hold the scroll wheel down, I can pan left and right, up and down, which is this command here. If I hold my shift button down and the scroll wheel, I can orbit as well. You see how that sometimes gets you lost so by hitting the, the home button, will take us back to where we want to go. Okay, I'm still in sketch, so it hasn't said finish yet, sketch yet. I'm still in the sketch, I'm going to rotate that around there so I can see it nicely. I'm going to start by creating some lines. Okay. In actual fact, I'm going to create some splines. Okay. So I think I want a fit point spline. It creates a spline through the selected fit points. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to start doing these points. Click, 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 click. If I need to get closer, I can get closer. If I've got my mouse, I can pan really quickly. Yeah move it across. That doesn't look exactly right, but we can always come back and fix that. So it's starting to look better now. I'm going to press the pause button. I'm going to complete this and I'll come back. Hang on a sec. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I've just gone and done it. You can see all these green things all over the place. Yeah, it looks terrible. I'm, I'm still in the, in the sketch um, spline. I'm just going to hit the escape button. So I've just got to this. I just want to show you a couple of things. You can see that that shape there, if I hover over it, is a nice clean shape. 
can see that one there is a little bit dodgy on that on that side there and this one here is a bit dodgy down here so I'm actually going to just change this one here if you know um, Corel draw you know about um, about um, shaping and handles so this node here has a handle there and a handle there by moving that handle in and out I can change the way that that corner works okay the same thing there the same thing there I'm not going to change any of the rest of them but you can see how that works this one here as well um, if I can click on that I could move that straight up yeah but then it messes up that one there so maybe I can move that one and I can straighten that one up as well yeah you could spend forever trying to sort that out yeah but that's going to be fine for me okay so now that I've done that sketch that's the first part the next part is that I need to create that square yeah so I can do a two-point rectangle but even better than that I can do a three-point rectangle so I'm going to do a three-point rectangle one that starts about there and it goes to about there and then I'm going to make it go to about that point there yeah um, I'll fillet these edges there and there. It says 12 millimeters. What does it look like with six millimeters? What does it look like with seven millimeters? Seven millimeters looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So I can fill it again there to there. Type in seven, enter. If I want a shortcut key, like a right hand mouse bit button, repeat fill it. That, that, I still have to type in seven. Yeah. And then right hand mouse button. Page fill it, that one, that one, type in seven. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, yeah? Um, I could probably now go to, I did talk about um, showing you how to create shapes, yeah? Um, extrude shapes and text. I might actually do text now because we're here, yeah? And I'll keep everything on the same sketch. So I'll have the outside shape, the, the hammer and spanner, and the text all on the one sketch. Okay, so again, I'll create nah, text. Okay, um, and it says, Where do you want to start? So I want to start at this point here, and I want to type in in capitals, Jess. Yeah, look, it's showing that it's going that way. I actually want it to go this way here, 90 degrees, and 10 millimeters is too high, so what about 7 millimeters? Mm, what about 6 millimeters? Yeah, six millimeters looks okay. I might make it bold. Move that out of the way. You can see it's not exactly the right text, but for me, it's okay. I can drop down there and choose any one that I want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to stick to stick to that. Okay, hit OK, and then I'm going to do it again. Create text at this point here. Ninety degrees. Type in design capitals. I'm going to make it, what did I make it before? Six millimeters. Bold. Yeah. I might actually move it across a little bit because I think that's going to be okay. So it's about there. Okay. Hitting okay. Now I'm going to finish sketch. Okay. So I've got my text, I've got my shapes, and I've got my outside shape. What I'll do is I'm going to right hand mouse button on this if I could. Don't want that, okay. I want to. Oh, here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if I right hand mouse button clicked on this, I should be able to open up the um, the um, what's it called? The decal, and I should be able to modify it. Oh, there you go. Look, okay. Edit the feature. Good. I'm going to turn the opacity down. If I turn the opacity down, yeah, I can't see it anymore. Yeah, which means that I can just see that, which I like. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to there. I'm going to now create that circle. Yeah. So I'm going to create the shape here. Yeah. So that's the creating shape. And then we're going to extrude and then we're done. Okay. Or we'll fill it and done. Okay, so I'm going to go and create a sketch. Again, I want to be on this plane or face. Yeah, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to create a circle. This time I'm going to go for a, normally I do a center diameter, 
that looks about the center and the diameter slightly out but for me it's going to be okay i'm going to make it 75 millimeters i can type in 75 hit enter okay and go finish sketch okay go back to home now i'm going to get started doing the pushing pulling okay extruding so i'm going to extrude that whole thing not up but i'm going to actually go down 10 millimeters enter okay and then i'm going to push this down so then i'm going to extrude this down five yeah so i'm left with that for some reason the jess doesn't doesn't go yeah i don't know why so i'm just going to control z that i'm going to go extrude down for some reason i can move no. let me just see whether i can extrude that and that that and that i can extrude that up and down so i might actually extrude that minus seven And then I'll turn the sketches on, that's the first sketch. And then I'll extrude that down minus five. I should be left with, if I turn that sketch off now, I should be left with that there. Okay, that'll work for me. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it. And this is just you and your preferences. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna fill it that say four millimeters. I'll maybe make it two millimeters. Enter. I can fill it that and that at the same time. So hit fill it, hit that and that. Say so three millimeters. Yeah. I could even fill it each of these little pieces as well. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. Yeah. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to hit home. Okay. So I'm going to zoom around. And you can see what I've done. Okay. So in today's lesson, I've shown you how to some fusion basics, how to insert a canvas, how to sketch an image from the canvas, creating shapes, extruding, text kind of, and the fillet, okay? Um, I want you to go ahead and emulate this. So I want you to do exactly the same thing using the same, um, the same logo that I've got here, okay? I'll insert that somewhere for you and you'll be able to use it, okay? Thank you very much.